This is the dying star, VY Canis Majoris. It's more than a billion miles across. Like all stars, it's a giant nuclear fusion reactor pumping energy outward. At the same time, the star's extreme gravity crushes inward. For a few million years, fusion and gravity are locked in standoff. But when the star runs out of fuel, fusion stops and the stalemate ends. Gravity wins. In a millisecond, the core shrinks to a fraction of its original size, and a baby black hole is born. Immediately, it starts to cannibalize what's left of the star. As matter swirls into the black hole, it gets incredibly hot, and there are magnetic forces and frictional forces, and it's just a witch's brew, a nightmare, what's going on right above the surface of the black hole. The new black hole in the middle keeps feeding on the body of the star around it. It eats the gas so fast, it chokes and coughs, blasting out huge beams of energy. They basically eat their way out from the star. This happens in milliseconds. It happens before the rest of the star even knows the core is gone. And so basically, the star is dead before it hits the ground. Finally, the star explodes. In one second, it blasts out a hundred times more energy than our sun will produce over its entire life. What's left is a new black hole and two jets of energy hurtling through the universe at the speed of light. These jets are called gamma ray bursts. They're incredibly energetic events. In terms of raw energy and power, gamma ray bursts are second only to the Big Bang itself. Most of them last only a few seconds, and they fry anything in their way. They're so intense that if there was a gamma ray burster in the region of our galaxy near our solar system, it could literally vaporize the entire planet. Fortunately, most gamma ray bursts occur outside our galaxy. <laughs> 